And it is Jingami here today guys, we're back in another video and today I will be showing you how to make your own Minecraft server for free um, that your friends can join or anybody really but I would say that if you want to make it public you would need to get an IP so you can click the link in the description down below and get an IP from the website uh, free IPs so yeah let's get into the video basically guys what you're going to need is bungeecord.jar the plugin and spigot uh, whatever version you want really and I renamed mine to spigot just because it's easier for me to do so rename that to spigot and then you can make a new folder folder and call it whatever you want I'm gonna call mine one G server okay and then you're gonna double click open open it make a new folder I'm gonna go ahead and do the new folder and make it bungee and then you can double click the bungee, drag in the bungee cord. You're gonna make a new, make a, a text document. Okay. So what you're gonna do is open it. You're gonna extract. Actually, no. Never mind. Can't do that. Oh. Um, you can go to this website, or it'll be down in the description below. Actually, I'm gonna copy this right here. So yeah, control C, and then you're gonna come up here and copy it, and keep it bungee cord, and make sure this is called bungee cord and the names match, because or else you'll have conflict between them, and it won't be able to start. And hit save as, and do run dot dat all files save. Exit this, double click this, and this will pop up. Worry about that in a second. Let me just copy this for the next part. Okay, and they'll do all this and add in plugins to your thing. Yeah, so. Okay, and then once it's done, you can exit it and go to config. Um, I'm going to show you a pre edited config I have, but actually, yeah, not really. Um, what you want to do is go into online mode, make sure that is true. You can do whatever disable commands you want, it doesn't really matter. Come down to listeners, I think that's what that is, can't read. Tab list, you can change this to server or global. Server is like the server you're on. You hit tab and you can only see people on that server. Or you can do global underscore ping, which is everybody on the all of the servers combined. So personally, I like doing server. Yeah. Um, that's just me. And yeah. You can change whatever whatever host you have. If you have like your own IP, like IC.com or something, whatever you have. You can put that here instead of these zeros. For me, I don't want to save mine because I might actually be doing something with it. So, yeah. I have one, but I'm not going to say what it is. And, yeah. So, right here, you can change this port to whatever you want. I like doing 6.5 just because that's kind of the way I was taught to. And, yeah. Force toast, keep the same. You, you can change however many players you want. You can do that many. I don't actually think that's... You can do that many, but... Um... IP forward, you will change to true, true, and then you can go up and yeah. So right here, after you change six five, you can come to lobby or servers in the lobby and two five five six five. Make that two five five six six, and you'll copy. Actually, you'll copy and paste this here. And then you can change this to whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine factions. Just because I might actually do a server off this, don't know. Um, and then you'll change this to it says six 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 seven. And every other one you got, you can do as many servers as you want. I'm pretty sure. But every server you add, you need to make the port go up by one number. So yeah, or make them have different ports basically. But to me, it's easier just to do it where they go up by one number. And yeah, so I'm going to, and then you can save it, exit, and then we'll go back out here, new folder, whatever you named your, actually the lobby, you need lobby and you need a new folder for factions. So you open lobby, drag in your spigot.jar, and go bungee, bungee server, and copy and paste this. Um, but you will have to change a few things real fast in it. So, uh, 
change the order on me. And then you're gonna uh, edit, undo not bungee cord, do spigot, or whatever you have here. So you want that name to match this name once again. You can just hit save and then double click it. And it'll bring up another command part command prompt and it will do the same thing basically as it did last time. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward to whenever this is done because it does take a few minutes. Actually not really. The next part takes a few minutes. So yeah, it'll say stopping server and you set any key you want and the EULA, you double click it. It says EULA false, you wanna hit you wanna do true. You can save it, and then you can double click the start.bat again. This part is where I will cut out, because this takes actually a few minutes, so yeah. Okay guys, we're back, and it is finally done. It took a 81 seconds. Basically, all it does is prepare the world for it, like the nether and all that. So once you can do that, you can, hit, you can type stop, and it'll save chunks and all this, and then you can exit. And yeah, so it'll put in all these folders right here all these files what you want to do is you want to go in um, server.properties and here you will go down to server port you name this 66 like you did and actually here you can go check your bungee and make sure and config that you did the lobby as 66 so it is 66 so I was right and it'll be stay 66 and then um, uh, you can come down here and you have to find online mode wherever that is gotta find online mode and make that false false because you don't want it to be online mode yes. and then uh, that's it here and you will exit and save and go back lobby and then you will go into server properties you oh, actually that's where we just where I'm down go and spigot bungee cord I will change that to true I don't know if it capitalization changes anything but I yeah I'm going to bucket that bucket yeah cuz once I first saw this bucket I was like what why is this here but yeah then I figured out yeah so Connection throttle, you want to do negative one, negative one, and save that, and exit, and then back, and factions now. So what you can do is copy this, copy, factions, paste that in there, and then you can come back here, and copy and paste this, the run dot bat it's the exact same thing and run dot that obviously and let it load and then yeah but this one isn't the one that takes long this is the simple one that just does eula that takes like two seconds actually it's been longer two seconds <sighs> yes guys i did get a haircut um yesterday so yeah i got basically all my hair cut off and it'll say stopping yeah. Okay, back to this. And then look, EULA. Change this to true. You already know. EULA equals true. Save. And then you can start it up again. You'll basically do the same thing as you did in the last one, but this time you'll have to change the IP and do to whatever it actually is. So we'll go check that actually. Bungie. That was factions we're doing. So config, just to be safe, factions is 6-7, so we can exit out of that, and then this will do its thing again, prepare area, preparing spawn area, it'll do all that, uh, yeah, it takes a <laughs>
just a good time. <sighs> this might take a few seconds, but we can go ahead and run this. And I will tell you, I'll be back, guys, once these are all started. So I'll see you in a second. Hey okay, guys, it finally loaded. As you can see here, done, done. And this one says, yeah. Uh, don't know what that means, but okay. So if you want, what you can do is OP Jim Gummy or your name, and yeah, I just OP myself before I join, just so that yeah. Um, and then you'll launch up your Minecraft. Oh gosh, oh my gosh. So, yeah, okay, there we go. Now, you will launch up your Minecraft, and you'll type in add server, local host, or you can do your IP if you port forwarded correctly. Oh my gosh, let's get face cam back. Okay, there you go. So if you port forwarded correctly, you can do whatever IP you put in in config on Bungie. But to me, it's easier to do localhost and yeah. So I already have edit localhost, and I'm pretty sure this yeah this is the same thing. So you can just uh, go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys that it actually works. And uh, yeah, so you will join. Hopefully, and it'll work. Yeah, you'll load up the server, or actually join the server. I'm playing a song. It's fun to play with. Okay, and then, yeah, see you guys, this is my server. Um, anybody can join now. If I tell them what the IP, or if I, like, do IP port forwarding and all that. So, yeah, I'm really simple to do, guys, once you know how to do it, basically. And, yeah,